of mortal men. One of them was Antar. It is of his deeds we tell now, and of his struggle with the devil of the desert.
Officer, won't you right away? Change clothes with them.
Colonel. You killed my father, whom you owed everything. You pay for this betrayal. <laughs> Never seize this city, Ganor. The people will rebel against you. Take him away. No. <laughs> I could. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure you can convince me to spare him. your chance. You must reach our mountain fires. Tell them to get ready. We have to prepare for an attack. Look out! The city is ours, Rebek. Your strategy worked to perfection. And now Gannon is king. me an answer. I truly hope you haven't forgotten, because I'm not in the habit of repeating myself. I loathe you, assassin. You seem to forget the kingdom is mine, Soraya. You will now obey me. Without me, you have no legal claim to the kingdom. No, Ghana. You're helpless, and you know it. And you'll wait forever before I give in to you. You're wrong, Soraya. You'll be my queen, with or without consent. <laughs> you miserable wench. You'll see I'll take you in that royal temper of yours. No, let me go. I'll never be yours. Never. Come back. Stop. What happened? She killed herself. She threw herself into the river. I'll have her rescued. No. I hope the crocodiles tear her to pieces. She would never have obeyed. But it doesn't matter now. You've been in long enough. Come out of the water now.
Tell me, Mute. Do you really think this little fish will satisfy both our appetites? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to do better than that. Oh! Huh? It's a woman! <laughs> Who are you? Where? Don't worry, you're among friends here. I'm Antar of Bethea, but who are you? Why are you afraid to talk? I can be of some help to you, if you'll at least tell me what happened. What difference does it make when you're only a slave? Well, it can make a great difference, especially when the woman enslaved is a royal princess. Hurry now. Go to the camp to bring our horses here. Uh. And don't wander off. Uh, uh. Who's that boy? Is he a mute? Yes. <gasps> well, what have we here? Where are you coming from? Answer me. I said, answer me. In this way, we'll know nothing, you idiot. Forward! There was nothing I could do. Now Ghana is king. And there is no one to reclaim the throne that is rightfully mine. Why don't you try to get some rest now? Later we can decide. <gasps> Be careful. Can't you see you're bruising her? Get your paws off of her. You're ruining a treasure. Have no fear, they won't hurt you. You're worth too much to... Let it go! No! How do you talk? I'll rip your eyes out. Who was that man? No, no. I'll talk. He's Murad. And he works for Akrim, the slave. Oh. Mute! Mute, where are you? Wake up, boy.
Another caravan is arriving. Welcome to our market, Your Highness. Where is my tent? This way, Your Highness. Put everything in its right place. Hey, now, eh? Easy, good for nothings. <laughs> Akrim, Akrim, you can't imagine how many noble customers have arrived. Akrim, Akrim, you must come right away. Have you no respect for the kings of the Orient? Akrim. Come for just a moment. The camp is full, I tell you. Noble sir. This way. <laughs> You'll have a great auction tomorrow, Abdul. <laughs> At least the moon is wished us well. Tomorrow we'll have the greatest slave auction in all history. for your market, our cream. Ah. This must surely be the hand of providence, Surat. The flower to complete my collection. Run, go call Adana. You haven't any right to keep me here. I don't. Are you sure? I'm not your slave. You are a slave. But you will remain here only for tonight. Tomorrow you will bring a price that only a king can afford to pay. Adana, you will take care of this young creature. Have her rest up and then prepare her with our most beautiful jewels and most audacious veils. Murad, where did you find her? She was near the lake, with a giant who took five of my best men from me. You'll have to sell her for a high price to cover my expenses. Mm -hmm. Abdul, you're the most convincing thief the Orient has ever known. Sure I am. So I needn't tell you that the girl will be sold for last, mm -hmm. and for the highest price. You can be sure of that, my lord. I will see to it that you are well paid. And now let us drink to our good fortune. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's market shall be a rich market. Eh, Abdul?
It's the slave market. I say in all honesty, have you ever seen a more beautiful, more stupendous, more angelic creature? Lips like ruby wine, and then her eyes, green as emeralds, O oh noble sirs. Nowhere in the Orient a more noble and regal comportment. And then I ask you to just imagine all of her hidden charms. And what is more, my lord, for just a few miserable piastres, she can be yours. All yours, the incredible sum of 60 miserable piastres. 65. 75 piastres. 100 piastres. 10 more piastres. Oh, but are you going to sit there and let that Bedouin take this stupendous jewel away from you? Come now, Ibrahim. This is no time to show your miserliness. Just look at this delightful desert flower. How can you refuse her? Courage, Ibrahim, or she will slip through your fingers. Be generous for once and make your offer. We stand at 110 piastres. 120. 130. 140. <laughs> and 50 again. It's too high for me. We're at 190. No other offer? Well then, the miser gets 300 piastres. Uh, 300? Take her if you want, sir. I think she's ugly. Huh. She's yours. <laughs> and now... Only 50 piastres for a voluptuous Syrian beauty. Feast your eyes and admire her provocative lie. Only 50 piastres, I say, to the first who raises his hand. 60 piastres. 20 piastres more. We're at 80 piastres. 100 piastres. 100 piastres. Who will offer more for this Asian delight? Speak up, noble sirs. 150 piastres. 150. 200 piastres. 200 piastres. No other bid? Then she's yours for only 200 piastres. A special treat, noble sirs. Here we have two authentic pearls from the lower Nile. Only 500 piastres for these perfect Nubian pearls. 500 piastres. The first to raise his hand will take them away. 500. 550. 600. 650. 700. 750. 800. 900. 1,000 piastres. Who offers more? 1,050. 1,100. 2,000 piastres. Oh, for heaven's sake, allow me to settle your differences. We stand at 2,000 piastres. Now, when I give the signal, the first to raise his hand will take them away. Ready now? Go. I was first. One moment. You're still willing to pay 2,000, Castro? I am. Then give me 1,000. And one from you. Abdul, a maid to each one of these noble buyers. Certainly. She's yours. Carry on, Abdul. And now I offer you a treasure that has never, never been sold in a public... You will be sold now. And I can assure you that you will not help yourself if you rebel. I offer you not just a maid of excellent beauty, but a queen, an extraordinary... I must run away, but that's impossible. You will have an opportunity 
Only if you allow yourself to be sold. Then maybe you will be able to run away. But not now. We have been blessed by her presence. For I assure you, her divine beauty merits the Seems birth as of a king. Kamal is bored with our auction. Oh, don't worry. He's interested, all right. Nay, not of a king, but the purse of an emperor. <laughs> What price shall I ask? What price can I possibly ask for her when she is worth more than all the treasures of the Orient? Uh, I'm truly at a loss, my noble sirs, because the charm, the regal beauty of this maiden have no price. Begin, my lords, and make your offer. Look at him now. He's drawly. Behold her beauty. I'm sure that among you there is at least one who is prepared to offer the true worth of this sublime creature. I will not even give you a starting price, because, allow me to repeat, compared to the beauties you have known before, this regal maiden surpasses all. I offer a hundred piastres. A hundred fifty piastres. Two hundred. Two hundred fifty piastres. Three hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred and fifty. Five hundred. I realize that one must exert caution when calling his offer. But a 500 piastre is really piastre. sufficient for... 570. 600. I offer 750 piastre. 800. 1,000. 2,000 piastre. 3,000. 4,000. 5,000. 10,000. 15,000. Raise the price. 16,000. Aren't you risking too much, Akrim? You may drop out. I've been in the slave market too long. You can be sure you won't drop out. 29,000. It's all I own. Then she's mine at 30,000 piastres. Go 20,000 above. But that's too risky. Oh, come now. Surely there is one more offer among you. 20,000 piastres above. With that sum of money, I could buy all the slaves in the Orient. She's not worth it at cream. But I'll have her just the same. I'm warning you, at cream. I'll not be let out again. You had your man call out a total of 50,000 piastres. Now I offer 50,000 and one. And that is where my offer stands. Alas, to try and deceive Gamal is not possible. The maid is yours. Take her to the caravan. We'll leave immediately. Come.
Prepared the camp, Gamal, and place the girl in her tent. You'll bring her here. Come, Gamal is waiting for you. And you had better learn not to keep him waiting. Touch me. I'll not be a slave to anyone. No? And why not? Because I'm Soraya, daughter of King Sandor. I don't care who you are. I want you as a slave and I'll have you. <laughs>
Mute, hurry up. He's carrying arms. place to hide. What happened? Speak up. Who are you? Soraya. Hassien. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. No. There's no time for me. In the mountains of Berin, you'll find Selene and our tribes. Tell him I couldn't get his message through to Diker. Then Diker's alive. Yes. Ganor. Ganor is holding him as a hostage so the people won't revolt against him. I've been carrying arms to those who are still faithful to you, my princess. <laughs> we'll take his message through to Dyke. So soon again, Gamal. What brings you here? I have been deceived, Akrim. I demand you return my 50,000 gaster. And for what reason, may I ask? I was sold a slave that our ancient laws would never consider as such. You were? Are you sure? The girl you sold me is Soraya, the daughter of Sandor. Daughter of King Sandor? How could you tell? You'll take my word for it. And you'll also return every last gaster that you took from me. But of course, Gamal. Where is she? She escaped. She was carried away by a man who attacked our encampment. One man? Alone? <laughs> he was Antar. 
What are you talking about? I saw him with my own eyes set fire to the tents and destroy our whole camp. He killed Rashid and took away Soraya. And you expect me to swallow such a ridiculous story and give you my good money? You doubt my word? And why not? No one has ever dared to insult my name, and much less the likes of a dirty, filthy, conniving seller of slaves. And now you'll order that my money be brought here immediately, you miserable, stinking blackguard, or else I'll squeeze the very life out of you. Not even a plastra, nothing. It's my money, and you have no claim to it. Why, you filthy slave, but... Uh, uh, uh. Murad, disarm his men. Alun, get ready to break camp. We'll leave immediately. What'll we do? I don't know, but I've got to stop Ghana. Somehow, I must get to Baral. How will you get there? You heard what Hassan said. The mountain tribes are still faithful to you. But if they attack Baral, then my I brother... I know, I already thought of that. Our first move will be to free him. Yes, but how? Most of the citizens are against Kenner. It's a matter of entering the city and organizing a revolt. But you can't go in alone. You'd be killed. Does it really make any difference what happens to me? Yes, it does. Antar, should the fact that I'm a princess keep me from falling in love? Hey, Mosquito, come here. You have an important mission to carry out. You will take Soraya up to the mountain tribes. Her safety is in your hands. I'll return as soon as possible, but now I must head for the city. Be careful. Take care, Mosquito. Stand watch near the river bend. I'll either meet you there or send someone who'll recognize you. Take care. Don't break. Oh. Oh. 
not true. Fire doesn't start by itself, I tell you. Ghana is much too lax with the people. What's going on here? Quick, you fools, put that fire out. I'll bet anything it was one of the maids. Which one of you was it who tried to escape? Do you think you can fool me? Is this your way of showing gratitude for Ghana's favors, huh? The trouble is that you are treated as queens, not as slaves. Move along now. He's waiting for you. Move along, I said. Come, come. Ghana awaits you. Well, you're no exception. Move along now. Aren't you eager to know which of you finds his favor? <laughs> wants to see you. see him. And no one will. I thought I told you never to set foot in Baral. Forgive me, Ganon, but I was forced to come here. Something happened. Something unexpected. You can never imagine... What happened? I sold a slave to Amir Gamal for 50,000 piastra. 50,000 piastra? Well, that's hard. Or are you going to tell me you no longer have the money? Oh, no, no, no. It's here. I've always kept my end of the bargain. You capture the slaves and I sell them. And that was our agreement, wasn't it? And you've always been satisfied, no? Well, then, the slave I sold Gamal was Soraya. Soraya? Have you gone mad? It's not my fault, Ganor. I had never seen her. You know that. And now where is she? Gamal's caravan was destroyed by Antar. You expect us to believe that? Antar and He's my alive, I tell you. And together with Soraya, they escaped. Of all the stupid imbeciles. You'll pay dearly for this error, Akrim. Do you have any idea where they are now? Their traces lead into the city. That's impossible. We never take such a chance. And then Antar can't possibly know that the ones who destroyed his city. 
Does anyone else know that Antar has returned? <laughs> Not anymore. There was Gamal, uh, but he's been eliminated. Congratulations, Akrim. At least for once, you acted wisely. Oh, well, then you realize why I came here myself. If the populace had their princess with them, if they didn't know she was dead, you would have trouble in squelching a rebellion. I'm sure you appreciate that. I imagine you expect just compensation, Akrim. Oh, but it never came to my mind. You know me better. That, I'm aware of your generosity. And who else knows that Soraya is not dead? Oh, no one. You know I never reveal your secrets. Of course. Such loyalty deserves to be repaid. Come. Enter, Akrim. I'm always your loyal subject and servant. <laughs> Gano. Gano! Now your secrets are also dead, Akrim.
he's come back. And he's sure to seek revenge. We must capture him at all costs. If the people find out that he's here, I'm afraid there'll be no stopping them in forming a revolt. And yet, they'll have to accept my rule. If I force Dicor to proclaim me as king. Come. Dicor. It's me, Antar. We've got to get out of here. You were sent here by Ganon. No. Look. Soraya. Soraya's alive? Did she send you after me? Yes, but I'll explain later. There's no time now. I'm sure you'll be interested in knowing what my plans are, Daikor. I will soon attack the mountain tribes and destroy them. I will spare their women, though. They will be sold in the market as slaves. You're a traitor. And one day you'll receive the punishment that you deserve. <laughs> you need not worry about me, Daikor. You'd best think of your own fate now that you're about to reach the end of your days. Unless... Unless you're still interested in saving your people and yourself. At what condition? You know my terms. You must abdicate the throne in my favor and instruct your subjects to refrain from stirring up any revolt and to show me the one and only King of Baral complete and absolute obedience. You'll have your answer by tomorrow. But I need more time now to consider it. Naturally, you have every right. Consider it well, Dicor, and make your decision a wise one. You have time until dawn tomorrow. Listen, we've got to hurry, Dicor. Soraya is safe now. She's together with our mountain tribes. But now we've got to find a way to get out of here. There's only one way to escape out of here. Through the pool in the harem. It's connected with the river that leads out into the city. Let's go before the guards come back. He's gone. Come. Hurry before he gives the alarm. Close the passage. <coughs> Look out. They're coming. Thy course escaped. Here. 
Let's go out. And charge with them. After them. There's a mute boy. He's waiting for you near the bend in the river. He'll lead you to the mountains. Hurry, jump now. We'll have to swim underwater. Remember the passage is in the center of the pool. Why not? I want you to take good care of him. Why should we spare him? Do as I say. We'll execute him in front of the people. And end the myth of Antar for all time. Have all the provinces notified immediately. Why deny the populace? is heroic Are you the mute boy that was sent here by Antar? Then you must take me immediately to Zariah. Huh? What do you want with me? Ganor has ordered that you receive a worthy death sentence. Antar of Bethea. It's more than a mountain rat like you deserve. Now get up. How do you know my name? Unfortunately, your arrival was pre-announced. Let's go now. Come. How did you escape? With the help of Antar. Oh, Diker. Where's Antar? I, I don't know. He stayed back to cover my escape. Selene, call all the men to arms. I have it. Round up all the horses and prepare to attack. Boys! You're worried for Antar? Gunner is ruthless. We know what will happen to Antar if we attack the city. It's our only hope if we want to free our people. Antar means everything to me. I love him. You'll see. He'll be all right. You're our king, Diker. And we await your orders. Very well. 
Then you'll remain here until we have taken the city.
you doing here? Get back or they'll kill you. Go away, I say. <laughs> What is it? true slave merchant. Come. No, don't go. You'd be murdered. Only he knows the secret of the magic glass.
I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Anta. Come. Come, Anta. Come, Anta. Come into the chamber of death. <laughs> yes, Anta. Would you like to know which one of these Ghanas will be the one to kill you? <laughs> Where is all your courage now? <laughs> stole from water the secret of affliction, but you also inherited its penetration, Gunner! Anton, no! You can have my gold. All my riches are yours. All your gold is covered with blood! No! You'll die! No! You'll pay, Garnet. No. You'll pay for all those you sold into slavery. You'll pay their ransom with your life, Donner. of your magic glasses ended, Garner. No. You will answer for all your bloodshed. I'll choke you with my own hands until you're dead. No. No. Have mercy. No. Thunderbird! 